drug testing is supposed to be done in order to advance science and serve human beings and improve their health. And what we found in India is that a number of the drugs that were being tested were not even intended for an Indian market. In other words, the people on whom the drugs were being tested were most likely not going to see any benefits from any breakthrough because they were either not the target consumers or they were too poor, they couldn't afford these drugs. Pharmaceutical companies and uh, research organizations that do clinical trials say that they're going to India because India has a huge population and therefore infinitely more choices of, of volunteers and people with kind of different bodies and different genetic makeups and different diseases. That's what they say and it is true that India has a huge population but what it was also true is that India is a country where there is a lot of poverty and where there's a growing gap between rich and poor and there's also illiteracy problems. And at least 40% of adults cannot read or write. Uh, so therefore, these are people who are clearly more vulnerable than someone who can read or write or than someone who is middle class and doesn't see as trading their body for clinical trials as, as a way to make money. So there's what companies say and there's what the reality on the ground is.